Montana City Council meeting for Tuesday, October 17th, 2017 to order. Could I have roll call, please? Councilmember Okerberg? Here. Dotson? Here. Burbank? Here. Rainey? Here. Spenby? Here. Voss? Here. Schultz? Here. And Mayor Kuntz? Here. We have all seven of the council and the mayor present this evening. Could all rise and please join the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Well, welcome everyone on a beautiful uh, night in Owatonna. So we'll get right to business and uh, look for approval of the agenda. So moved. Motion by Brent to approve the agenda. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Nate. Uh, any discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Good to go. Uh, the first items tonight are, there's two public hearings and I'm going to split them up. First, we're going to do the uh, uh, 2017 mowing project and uh, decide on that resolution and then we'll do the uh, North Cedar Avenue project and decide on that resolution. So first we'll start out with the uh, proposed assessments for the 2017 mowing projects. And we'll go to Chris for this. Thank you, Greg. As you know, uh, the city throughout the year enforces our uh, weed and nuisance ordinance. And what we have here are folks who have not complied with that. Um, our inspector goes out, and if we receive a complaint, goes out and then uh, verifies that there is a violation. A letter is written. Uh, property owners are given five days in order to uh, address the situation themselves. Uh, failing that, then the city does hire a uh, contractor to have the the parcel mode um, and then uh, the property owners then build for those costs and if they uh, if they're not uh, paid throughout the summer then we bring them to uh, this hearing tonight and we assess it against their property and we've had a couple of payments so the revised amount that we would be assessing is the um, was it the 42 to yeah uh, yeah, 42, do you have the new number? I don't, I have the 46 here. It's right here. 42-21-30? Yeah, yes. It's the, it's the very bottom number on that uh, yeah. sheet for the mowing. It was 42, originally- 42 21 30 42 21 30 yep, okay. yep. Thank you. So staff, um, so you, uh, that concludes the staff report. Okay, we're gonna open a public hearing on this matter at 7.05. Anyone that wishes to speak on the uh, mowing uh, assessments, proposed assessments, will you please come up to the microphone at the table, sign in, and, and uh, make your comments? You appear to have no one that wants to talk about that, so I'll look for a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Motion by Dave to close the hearing. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Doug. So we'll close the public hearing at 7.06. Uh, now, Council, do you have any questions of Chris on this matter? Oh, I suppose we got a vote on that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Darn. All in favor of uh, closing the public hearing, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Now we'll talk about the resolution. Uh, any questions of Chris on this matter, or how would? what are your wishes on the resolution? Motion to approve. Motion by Nate to approve resolution 95-17 to adopt assessments for the 2017 mowing projects. Do you hear a second? Second. Second by Jeff. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Now we'll move on to the 2017 North Cedar Avenue projects and we'll go to Bill for this one. Welcome, Bill. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, North Cedar Avenue was a full reconstruction project uh, with new storm sewer and some water main, uh, concrete pavement, curb and gutter, and appurtenances, and uh, came on on time and within budget. So it was a very good project. Okay, thank you, Bill. We'll do the same thing. We're going to open the uh, public hearing at 708. Anyone who wishes to talk about the 2017 North Cedar Avenue project, please come up to the <coughs> microphone and uh, um, state your comments. 
appears to be no one. So I look for a motion to uh, close the hearing. So moved. Motion by uh, Kevin to close the hearing. Do you hear a second? Second. Second by Brent. Uh, any further discussion about that? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion or uh, public hearing closed at 7.08. Um, any questions of Bill on this matter? Or we'll go to the resolution. Motion to approve resolution. Motion by Brent to approve the resolution uh, 96-17. Do you hear a second? Second. Second by Nate. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next on the agenda is the uh, consent agenda, and that uh, consists of uh, minutes, permits, and licenses, board and commission minutes, departmental monthly meetings, contracts, agreements, and other miscellaneous items that are all grouped together for the council to review uh, beforehand, and we vote on them collectively. So I would look for a motion on the consent agenda. Motion to approve the consent agenda. Motion by Jeff to approve the consent agenda. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Doug. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, motion carries. Now we'll move on to action items. The first on the agenda is the finance report, and we'll go to Vice President Rainey for that. Thank you. Checks over $20,000 tonight are as follows. $112,386 to I-State Truck Center. That's for a 2018 Freightliner Vector Truck. $163,842 Otana Fire Relief Association. That is a pass-through of Fire State Aid. Other expenditures tonight are $172,636. Bringing total expenditures tonight of $448,864.83. Thank you, Kevin. You've heard the finance report. And uh, there's a, I look for a motion on that to accept it. Motion to pay the bills. Motion by Dave to accept the finance report. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Nate. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is item 3.2. Ordinances. It's a second reading of the proposed ordinance 18 17 to prohi prohibit alcohol in the Archery Park on Elm Avenue. And I think we'll go to Chris or Mark on this one. Yeah, it's just our second uh, reading on this. Um, it was, we needed to specify this uh, park since it's a new park uh, to include it for an alcohol prohibition for obvious reasons. Very good. Um, so I'd look for a motion on this. So moved. Motion by Nate to approve uh, the second reading of proposed ordinance 18 17. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Kevin. That was pretty fast there. Um, uh, this is uh, any further discussion? There being none, this is an ordinance, so I'll ask for a roll call vote. Councilmember Okerberg. Aye. Dotson. Aye. Burbank. Aye. Rainey. Aye. Svenby. Aye. Voss. Aye. And Schultz. Aye. All seven ayes. Motion carries. Thank you, everyone. Um, now we move on to resolutions. The first one is 3.3.1, resolution 97-17, to set the date for a public hearing to issue revenue refunding notes for Steele County communities for a lifetime. And we'll go to Chris on this one. Uh, yes, here. Um, we have been um, received a request from Steele County um, SCCL um, to use ex uh, to refund their bonds. I believe we have some representatives here who can go into some more detail of uh, the reasoning for it. Um, I think I will turn it over to you gentlemen. Hi, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Council. Us being here, I'm Kevin Rymanowski, uh, Chief Financial Officer of Benedict and Health System, one of the members of SCCL. And uh, we financed this facility back in 2011. I've uh, had some, some you know, some financial struggles through the through the through the through the years, but um, have improved uh, the finances uh, greatly. But are at a point where we need to do a refinancing with the existing lenders, um, and it will set us forward in a strong path going for the next uh, for into the future. So uh, we're 
reissuing the debt that we did back in 2011 and at the same or at the outstanding principal balance so going from there any questions be happy to answer I think that the city we just act as a conduit for this uh, these, right. these bonds yep. so, mm -hmm. And questions? they have paid the application fee, and staff would recommend approval. Okay. Any questions of these gentlemen over here? Thank you very much. Can you guys sign in for sure so that we know who is here? Because I get your name spelled correctly. So we've heard this report, so uh, there's a motion on the table. Uh, look for a motion. Motion to approve resolution 97-17. Motion by Brent to approve resolution 97-17. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Jeff. Uh, any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is uh, item 3.3.2, resolution 98-17, to approve vehicle restrictions on St. Paul Road for the Owatonna School District number 761. And uh, Bill, you're up for this one. Uh, the school district uh, changed the traffic pattern for dropping off students uh, along 15th Street. Uh, uh, and they were planning on using the parking lot uh, for drop off, and there's not enough room there for them to do that work, uh, drop off. And they're asking for restrictions along St. Paul Road from 15th to the salt parking lot on the east side of St. Paul Road there. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Any questions of Bill on this? I, I have one, Bill. Do you know, are they, the school district, studying their... Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. The uh, thing up there? Yeah, they hired a uh, traffic engineer to, to study that. I know there's been a lot of changes with all the schools switching yes. around, so... Okay, any other questions of Bill on this? I have. Kevin? Kevin, I have. I, I guess my question is in regards to the signage. Um, is that on their dime or our dime? Uh, this is budget impact uh, signage for $250. Um, That's us. Awesome. I imagine it would be our dime. Mm -hmm. They are paying for a traffic study, and that's several thousand dollars. So. Jeff? Um, my question is, um, have we looked into the parking on that east side to make sure that there's enough distance for a visual uh, exiting out of that parking lot? It, it really cr creates a safety concern because the buses block that uh, northbound traffic so much that you can't see coming out of that lot. Uh, that's a good question. That's okay. a traffic study he's going to look at. Okay. Now they changed that, you knew that right? There's an in and out there now. Yeah. Would we look at this as a temporary type thing until uh, the yes, study? Yes, this done? is a short term fix, and then the longer term fix will be after the traffic study. Okay, thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I'd look for a motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Jeff to approve uh, resolution 98 17. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Nate. Any further discussion? Be not all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item is 3.3.3, resolution 99-17 to declare costs for the 2017 curb and gutter and bituminous projects. And Bill, we're back to you. Okay. <clears throat> um, proposed uh, assessment amounts are being prepared for the 2017 project and I'm not very good at this. Uh, you know, but uh, the projects have been done, and uh, I know you're looking for the dollar amounts themselves, or no? I think we have that. Yeah, that's on, listed on the resolution, right? But, um, so this is this is the assessment. normal assessment prog process where we right. declare the costs and then we set the data hearing is in the next uh, resolution that's what the next item so mm -hmm. motion to approve right. motion by Kevin to approve the uh, costs on the 2017 curb and gutter projects do I hear a second 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 by Dave any further discussion there being none all in favor signify by saying aye aye 
opposed? Motion carries. Going along with approving the assessments now, we will uh, set up a uh, public hearing to move to item 3.3.4, resolution 100-17, to set the date for a public hearing to consider these proposed assessments. So I'd look for a motion. So moved. So, uh, second? Second. Second, or excuse me, motion by uh, Nate, second by Jeff. Any further discussion on that? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Do we have a date for that? It should be um, November, next, 7th. Uh, November 7th. November 7th. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, next item is uh, 3.3.5 Resolution 101 17 to declare costs for unpaid snow removal service. And now we're going back to you, Bill. Uh, back on his proposed uh, assessments for amounts of uh, being prepared for unpaid sidewalk projects impact uh, the assessment should be reimbursed by the, by the property owners. Okay, thank you. Any questions of Bill on that? This is similar to the unpaid weed assessments. Great, great. Yeah, what's the date on that one? That's also November 7th, I believe. <laughs> the the amount's $494.10. Yep. Motion to approve. Motion by Nate to approve uh, resolution 101-17. Do I hear a second? Second. A uh, second by uh, Brent. Yep. Uh, any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Along with that, uh, we have to set up a public hearing, and that's resolution 102-17 <laughs> to set the date for the public hearing, which would be November 7th. So I would look for a motion for that. Motion to approve. Motion by Brent to approve resolution 102-17. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Doug. Any further discussion? There be none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Last resolution item is 3.3.7, resolution 103-17, hazardous condition at 117 West Bridge. <coughs> and then we'll go to Mark on that one. This is a proceeding similar to the proceeding that we did in connection with the building on North Cedar Street, that some people might refer to as the old auditorium hall, um, home of completely kids. Uh, the building at 117 West Bridge Street is an older building. Uh, it has a leaking roof that's causing structural damage. The um, items that are necessary for remediation are shown in the, uh, uh, the resolution. Uh, that's the information that's provided to the city by the uh, fire chief as well as by Ken Beck. This uh, is the initial step taken where the city um, is proceeding uh, with a hazardous uh, building proceeding under the statute in these cases. It will establish a time for the um, owners of the building, in this case a, a nonprofit, to remedy the building. I did have the chance to uh, talk to one of the officials from the nonprofit today, and they're willing to get together with the city staff, um, Ken Beck and Fire Chief Johnson, uh, to meet and determine uh, how next to proceed. And so uh, uh, we would ask that the council approve <coughs> the resolution. Okay, thank you, Mark. Any questions for Mark from the council? If not, I'd look for a motion on resolution 103-17. Motion approved. Motion by Kevin to approve resolution 103-17, hazardous conditions at 117 West Bridge. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Dave. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Now we move on to contracts and agreements. The first item is 3.4.1, conditional use number C-1393, a garage addition at 1355 Mineral Springs Road Northeast for Bennett and Heidi Johnson. And Troy, we haven't heard from you tonight. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, do we have a request to add a lean to to an existing thousand and eight square foot garage that would bring the total square footage of the access accessory structure to one thousand four hundred and twenty eight square feet uh, the ordinance does allow um, 
accessory structures to be over a thousand square feet and up to fifteen hundred for lots that are over thirty thousand square feet and we do have over thirty thousand square feet on this lot um, so the lean-to would just be a ten by forty two uh, foot addition on the back side of the building so you wouldn't actually even see it from the street uh, we did have a public hearing at the Planning Commission we did not have uh, any neighbors there to speak uh, to this at all. So the Planning Commission did recommend approval with the condition that the uh, lean-to to the structure shall be constructed to match the garage on the exterior and that the accessory structure not be used for commercial purposes. Okay, thank you, Troy. Any questions of Troy on this matter? Motion to approve. Motion by Nate to approve conditional use number C-1393. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jeff. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item is 3.4.2, development agreement on the Pearl Street Apartments with uh, Steve Nikolai. And back to you, Troy. So Steve Nikolai is planning to construct a 33-unit market rate apartment building on the 100 block of East Pearl Street. Uh, the city has invested uh, costs in acquiring and demolishing the properties uh, for the project and to recoup those costs the city um, approved utilizing tax income and financing. So we did purchase five properties. Uh, we demolished two of them. Uh, the, the other three will be demolished actually by the developer uh, just from a timing perspective and we'll reimburse them uh, for those uh, costs. And so under the development agreement, we have um, $610,000 pretty much invested into this. At this point, there'll be some additional costs for the demolition. Uh, the market rate for that vacant land is $150,000. Um, and then also as part of that TIF, the public utilities will be bearing the overhead lines uh, on the alley side, and that'll be repaid back by the TIF as well. Um, so there are consulting costs for writing the TIF plan, which are being paid for for the EDA, and then all the costs incurred by the EDA up to this point, and then the, the reimbursement as well uh, will be covered through the tax income and financing for the life of the TIF district, which could be up to 25 years. So staff would recommend authorizing signing of the development agreement with Steve Nikolai. Okay, thank you, Troy. Any questions of Troy on this? Can you reiterate those numbers again as far as the total costs, purchase and demolition the city's got? that will be reimbursed for? Yep, so the city purchased uh, three homes, or I'm sorry, five properties, we demolished two. Up to this point, we have $610,000 into those costs. Uh, there are three houses to be uh, de demolished yet. That'll be done by the developer. We'll reimburse the developer for those costs. We're estimating about 60, uh, the development agreement allows up to $75,000 for those reimbursements. Uh, the developer will pay the city $150,000, which is market rate for the, uh, that land. Um, and so our costs um, will be reimbursed through the TIF. Otana Public Utilities will be investing, uh, our estimate is about $180,000 in burying those overhead wires um, as part of the utility work in the uh, alley and then those costs then would be reimbursed through the TIF district as well. Okay, thank you, Trey. Got that? Yep. Okay. Um, I, know, I noticed they've disconnected the water to the houses down there. Do you, I'm just curious what the timetable is. Um, they would like to do the demolition on the three houses uh, very soon, within the next couple of weeks here. So, um, as you know, we, Time is short here as to getting into the street and disconnecting those, so um, we would anticipate probably in the next few weeks that those would be uh, demolished. Are they planning on starting this fall yet? Uh, I think that was their original game plan. They're still assessing, uh, depending on weather and when uh, all the design work is done, whether that'll be possible. It, it, at worst, it'll be first thing in the spring they start construction. Thank you, Trey. Any other questions of Trey? If not, I look for a motion to 